In this example, we will study combinations with more than one case. In Part A, a committee of five people is to be formed from a group of four men and five women. How many committees can be formed if at least three women are on the committee? There are nine people available for selection, subdivided into four men and five women. There are three ways we can form the committee. Three women and two men, four women and one man, and five women and zero men. We can select three women and two men in five choose three times four choose two equals sixty ways. Restock and redraw. We can select four women and one man in five choose four times four choose one equals twenty ways. Restock and redraw. We can select five women in five choose five equals one way. Add the cases to get the answer, 81. This is a multi-case combination because we restock and redraw the sample set and add the results. Now we'll move on to Part B. From a deck of 52 cards, a 5-card hand is dealt. How many distinct hands can be formed if there are at most two queens? Begin with the standard deck of 52 cards. Separate the queens from the deck. There are three cases. Zero queens and five other cards, one queen and four other cards, and two queens and three other cards. We can select zero queens and five other cards in 48 choose five ways. Restock and redraw. We can select one queen and four other cards in 4 choose 1 times 48 choose 4 ways. Restock and redraw. We can select two queens and three other cards in 4 choose 2 times 48 choose 3 ways. Add the cases to get 2 million. 594,400. This is a multi case combination because we restock and redraw the sample set and add the results. Now we'll move on to Part C. From a deck of 52 cards, a 5 card hand is dealt. How many distinct hands can be formed if there is at least one red card? Begin with the standard deck of 52 cards. If there is at least one red card, we have five cases. One red and four black, two red and three black, three red and two black, four red and one black, and five red and zero black. Well, we could do the question this way, using five cases, there is a shortcut. In total, there are six cases possible for selecting the cards. If at least one red card must be in the hand, we don't want the case with zero red cards. So, we can find the answer using total combinations minus unwanted combinations. The total cases are any five cards, and the unwanted case is zero red cards and five black cards. We can select any five cards in 52 choose five ways.
Restock the carts. Now subdivide the deck into black cards and red cards. We can select all black cards in 26 choose 5 ways. Subtract. There are 2,533,180 ways to select at least one red card. Now we'll move on to Part D. A research team of five people is to be formed from three biologists, five chemists, four engineers, and two programmers. How many teams have exactly one chemist and at least two engineers? Represent the people in the selection pool with tiles. The biologists and programmers can be grouped as others because their constraints do not specifically use either profession. There are three cases, one chemist, two engineers, and two others, one chemist, three engineers, and one other, and one chemist and four engineers. We can select one chemist, two engineers, and two others in 5 choose 1 times 4 choose 2 times 5 choose 2 ways. Restock and redraw. We can select one chemist, three engineers, and one other in 5 choose 1 times 4 choose 3 times 5 choose 1 ways. Restock and redraw. We can select one chemist and four engineers in five choose one times four choose four ways. Add the results to get 405 ways to form the research team. Now we'll move on to Part E. In how many ways can you choose one or more of five different candies? The sample set contains five candies. There are five cases. One candy selected, two candy selected, three candy selected, four candy selected, or five candy selected. We can choose one candy in five choose one ways. Restock and redraw. We can choose two candies in five choose two ways. Restock and redraw. We can choose three candies in five choose three ways. Restock and redraw. We can choose four candies in five choose four ways. Restock and redraw. We can choose five candies in five choose five ways. Add the five cases to get 31. While the method we just used works, it would become tedious for large sample sets. Let's look at another method that can be used to solve this problem. Each candy has two states associated with it. It can either be selected or not selected. There are two options for the first candy, yes or no. We can select one option in two choose one ways. All of the other candies can either be selected or not selected in two choose one ways as well. Multiply the results to get 2 choose 1 raised to the power of 5, which is equivalent to 2 raised to the power of 5, 
which is equivalent to 32. We don't want to include the case where no candy is selected, so subtract 1 from the total. Recall that the question specifies one or more. The answer is 32 minus 1 equals 31. We can generalize these types of one or more questions with the formula combinations equals 2 to the power of n minus 1, where n is the number of objects that can be selected.